I'm Joe, and today on Next Level Bullshit, we take a look at the Brotherhood of Reptilians from the constellation Draco. Yes, that's right. Today, we sink our shit-stained teeth into one of the longest-running modern conspiracy theories. Shape-shifting reptilian aliens are living and working among us. The concept of humanoid reptilians first became part of fiction in the 1929 Conan the Barbarian story, Shadow Kingdom. Reptilian aliens posing as humans wasn't much of a thing until it became popularized in the 1985 TV miniseries, V. While tossed around as a real possibility, humanoid alien reptiles weren't a serious conspiracy subject until David Icke introduced the world to his reptoid hypothesis in his book, The Biggest Secret, in 1999. The premise is, is the Earth is inhabited by a race of gods that happen to look reptilian, known as the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki originally came to Earth specifically for monatomic gold a mineral which can make the reptilian aliens stronger, smarter, and faster when ingested. The Anunnaki began crossbreeding with humans for political reasons to create Watchers, the Fallen Angels, or Grigori. According to Ike and other legends, the first reptilian hybrid was created two to 300,000 years ago. And there was a second breeding program, allegedly around 30,000 years ago, and a third program that began 7,000 years ago. According to David Icke, these shape-shifting Anunnaki human crossbreeds secretly control the world. Yeah, and there's a shit ton of YouTube videos of people doing shifty reptilian things. All right, we're going to stop there for a moment. The Anunnaki are a legitimate lore in many circles. Supporters of this show have interviewed David Icke in the past, and while we may not agree with his interpretation of Anunnaki lore, he's legitimately a nice bloke. Some of this shape-shifting reptilian humanoid paranoia has been supported by Paul McLean, former director of the Laboratory of the Brain and Behavior at the United States National Institute of Mental Health. He introduced the world to his hypothesis in 1978 in a paper titled a mind of three minds, educating the triune brain. He described the human brain as having an expanded forebrain while retaining the basic features of three formations that reflect our ancestral relationship to reptiles, early mammals, and recent mammals. Paul McLean labeled these three structures as the reptilian brain, our complex, the paleomammalian brain, limbic system, and the neomammalian brain. Since 1978, science has progressed a shit ton, and now we're able to get stunning images and mapping of the brain. So neuroscience pretty much said, to hell with that crazy reptilian brain shit. However, an astonishing 12 million people believe that there may be alien reptilians among us, largely in part due to McLean's now rejected hypothesis of the lizard brain combined with David Icke's cult following. So there's the backstory. Bad shit crazy to some, bad science to many, and forgotten history to others. But we're not here to judge that. We're here to look at the new layer of bat shit crazy piled on top of all of this. Shape-shifting reptilian aliens accidentally revealing themselves on video. I shit you not. There is a massive internet subculture constantly looking for new YouTube videos that supposedly catch politicians, news people, pundits, actors, and regular people accidentally shifting to their reptilian form for a brief moment. YouTube has nearly 60,000 results for a search on shape-shifting reptilians. Let's take a look at a few. Now, this scary video claims to show a member of Obama's Secret Service shifting to a reptoid right before everyone's eyes. This fucked up hoaxer needs to lie to you to sell their bullshit. They say the video is HD, but mm, it's clearly not. It's full of significant compression artifacts and clearly upsampled from standard definition video. This guy looks to be morphing into some psycho Hitler clown of some sort. Ugh. 
Digital video compression artifacts are the result of reducing the file size for internet streaming. Odd rectangles, blurred areas, lost image resolution often happens, and the more you compress or the more times you compress, the worse it gets. So when you zoom way the fuck in on a degraded image, it's not even gonna represent reality. And of course, nobody in the audience screamed, holy shit, that guy's a fucking alien. Now, this one claims Cindy Anthony is losing her human form right before our eyes. This is a very common artifact of early YouTube videos that were heavily compressed using older compression methods in Flash Video. These video compression methods attempt to reduce the file size by retaining the changes between frames. Some, like VP6, tried to follow movement, but oftentimes that resulted in artifacts multiplying between keyframes, which are reference frames with less or no compression. And of course, the interview just keeps going on and never says, holy shit, Casey, what's going on with your face? And here's another one that claims President Bush is showing his inner reptilian self right on national TV. And if our nation continues on this course, the economic damage will be painful and lasting. I know many Americans are especially Another bullshit claim that relies on image distortion and video compression artifacts to make their case, even pointing out the extended years. At the right is the same video frame from the original video. No compression artifacts, no extended years, the purveyors of this BS modified the original. Zooming in on the original shows a very different story. And finally, a supposedly reptilian reporter from Fox News here back on September 18th. Now keep in mind, this is the family story, their account of what they see happened here on campus earlier this month. Unfortunately, we weren't able to reach the school. From a very low quality, heavily compressed flash video on YouTube from over eight years ago when compression really sucked. And of course, no one's saying, holy shit, dude, your face. Now, these are just a few examples of what these deranged people are doing to perpetuate the hoax. Video compression techniques use complex algorithms to analyze each frame of a video and efficiently distinguish areas of high detail from low detail. Then, the algorithms focus more on the changes in high detail areas between frames. This reduces the file size in megabits per second needed to stream the video. And where those pesky reptoid compression artifacts come from which even makes me look like a shape-shifting monster with reptilian eyes. So, bullshit hucksters that don't do the most basic research, you define the absolute peak of next-level bullshit. And there it is, episode 31. I wanna thank all our viewers and commenters. Our top BS of 2014 video got a shit ton of comments. Undertow420 said, I literally trip over my mouse wheel scrolling to see more NLBS, a tool for change. Thanks, we're doing our best. Amber said, anti-intellectualism is by far the most dangerous threat to the US. She also included an important quote from John Adams. My statement that evolution is fact caught some serious flack. Triangulord668 asked, why are there still chimps? Well, humans and chimps evolved from a common primate ancestor. Subliteral asked, are you telling me the magnificently inept implementation of the ridiculous Obamacare program didn't even make the list? Now that's a great point, and it should be the top of any all-time bullshit list, but we didn't consider it to be exclusive to 2014. So what's today's swear jar total? 11. Okay. Each time it reaches $100, I'm going to donate it to charity. The first time, since my granddad died of Alzheimer's, it's going to the Alzheimer's Foundation of America. Now, send a tweet with hashtag NLBS if you find news or events that are next level bullshit. Give us a short clip commenting on one of our topics or something that you think is next level bullshit. You can also email me anytime at joe at nextlevelbullshit.com. And don't forget to go to thenlbs.spreadshirt.com to get shirts and other next level bullshit swag. And we'll see you next time with some memory healing next level bullshit.
Follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, and watch all our shows on nextlevelbullshit.com. Until then, our thoughts go out to the families and friends of the people tragically killed at Charlie Hebdo. We all must stand up against the tolerance.